Hey, it's your girl Erin Rain here, and it's the official start for Jams TV. I see that we're starting things off. We want to start fresh, young. So we have young talent in the building right now talking about Mr. Gutterboy 007. Rap artist right from here, the Bahamas, Nassau Bahamas, that is. Gutter, how you feeling today? So I don't know what's going on there, y'all. Good. Okay, so how'd you come up with the name Gutter Boy and the 007? Did the, did the movie uh, 007 inspire it or? I mean, I get it from like all uh -huh. the movie. Okay. See, the, like the 007 beats and mm -hmm. yeah, but the Gutter Boy is just like, just, I mean, I ain't give myself that name. It's like, where are you from? People just just call me Gutter Boy because like, uh -huh. that's where we really from. Like, it's like the Gutter the Slum, see what they're saying? So, yeah. Everybody's just be like, oh, that's gutter boy. Cause, yeah. yeah. Okay, so when you say gutter the slums, um, where are you from exactly? The Grove. For you street, mm -hmm. the Grove. Come up and just run now. For you street, the Grove. Okay, perfect. All right, so when did you start it? Um, what, okay, let me ask you. What make you? What made you got into writing music? I. What inspired it? The inspiration. I mean, I know. Like, it's just like it's like it's something like. It was for me to do like it was mm -hmm. something for me like i was born to do this because mm -hmm. i mean my 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 father he's he was a dj mm -hmm. see what i'm saying so like i believe that like that kind of rub off on me like that see what i'm saying because yeah. you know like yeah from the tree Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like I used like oh, well, yeah, fall off the tree from yeah, that's my father. Yeah. So I feel it really gone from now. Yeah. See, from once yeah. he was into it. Mm -hmm. So you see your father really inspired it. Yeah. Okay, so now being an artist and you are you would basically put yourself in the category of rap or you would just say artists all around. You do R and B as well. I mean, and you did do a bit mm -hmm. you have a little singing. And then you, you did start singing just a little bit, not too much of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a melody. Right. You know, I listen to your music of course. But it's like, so what would you say? It's just rap, it's R&B, you plan on doing pop or just strictly rap? Me, like, you could, you could, I mean, you could class me in any category, any, any category mm -hmm. or anything. I'm just like, I versatile. I mean, I could mm -hmm. go in anything, like, yeah. any, like literally anything. Mm -hmm. I could just. Have yeah. you done reggae yet? No. No. No, not yet. I mean, <laughs> doing, like, to be real, when I had uh -huh. a voice, like, when I, like, I didn't really, like, start taking rap and, like, seriously, uh -huh. serious, serious, like. That video party like still around, but when I was like in school or something, like this, mm -hmm. like seven, eight, eight or seven grade, I was like doing it, you know, no freestyle. Mm -hmm. and, and I used yeah, the kids school. beating on the dancing class, the regular. Right. <laughs> okay, that was in the first time. It's yeah. like the second time too, and uh -huh. like, like I think I was like grade ten. Mm -hmm. It's a little freestyle video on me, bees doing a little beating yeah. on the dancing. Yeah, that, that just gone viral. Like everybody was supposed to know. Oh wow! So yeah. what school did you go to? Anadol Roger. Okay, representing. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me ask you now because um, you know, you are an artist. Uh, we are we have been dealing with the pandemic since last year, really March of right. 2020. So how has it been for you, basically, just trying to even be creative, just creating and even just going to the studio? Because now we're on lockdowns. So mm. We still able to go to the studios. We still able to record. You have a studio in your home, like. How do you just go about still, you know, your daily life as an artist recording? Um, have you done any performances yet? Yeah, I had like mm -hmm. three shows already. Mm -hmm. I, I already do it. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, That's it was dope. lit. I, yeah. It was lit. I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. My first one was still, that, that was like one of the, I, don't feel, I mean, it didn't feel like it was the biggest, but it yeah. it was hype. It was hype. Like, yeah. That type vibe, like I stopped singing in the crowds. Yeah. So, yeah, that type stuff. They really, they really feeling the music. Right. Okay, so how did you go about um just basically I don't know keeping your fans hype then going to the studios and everything with the lockdowns and, and creating new music. True, true. The lockdown, I, I just was doing it. I know like, we had we have links and stuff like mm -hmm. that, so it really be kind of easy and a little flexible for me to really get to the studio. We just doing little lock-ins. Like I've yeah. been, I've been putting in work. Yeah. All I like I still get like unreleased songs and stuff that I record from like last year or I yeah. released yet. But I used, I have new stuff that I record but still ain't mm -hmm. released yet. But yeah, from last from from the COVID start, we just get wow. busy. So how much music? How many songs do you would say you have right now in total? Unreleased? Yeah. And just in total. <laughs> mm. Like it's over a hundred? And over a hundred yet, because one but you work in. Yeah. But, we work in a lot. We work in heavy. Mm -hmm, I get like, but like, let's say 50 going up. 
Yeah. I get well, that's good. A lot of songs. That's good. Yeah. I've seen that you're really pushing right now. Your music is definitely blowing up. Um, whether it's like on Audio Mac and everything, because of course I know you have almost a million streams, right. which is phenomenal, which is something that you definitely should be proud of as an artist, especially coming out from the Bahamas. Like it's like we're small, we're just a small rock, still mm. a dot on the map. <laughs> but it's like so to see just so much talent and young talent, you know, basically just chasing a big dream right now is it's it's like, you know, it's inspiring to a lot of others. And I'm pretty sure you inspire a lot of people right, right now as they watch you daily. But I'd say, do you feel like the local society are accepting of your music? Like your peers, they definitely um, listen to it. They share it. I mean, where are you from? Like, out the groove, like, people, uh-huh. they mess with my music, like, heavy. Yeah. And other people around this give me, like, good vibes. Yeah. I mean, it might be one or two haters, but, you know, the hate the hate one needs yeah. to make it better. Exactly. We ain't wrong with haters. No. No. <laughs> but I say, with so many artists in the music industry listen to the day, how like how is your music different? Because you know, there's NBA Youngboy, there's King Bond, there's so many like you know big time artists right now. It's Lil Durk, Lil Baby. What would you say differentiates you? Me? I mean, I feel like I like unique, like because I really is be myself in my mm-hmm. music. Like I don't try like all right, like say like other upcoming artists also did like mm-hmm. all right, see all right, Kodak Black inspired them. They had like. Mm-hmm. Try take some more Kodak the sound like Kodak. Yeah, exactly. But that's why people. That's why some people don't really like mess with people music like that. Cause yeah. like, all right, if you trying to be a clone of somebody, exactly. how you ex- are you expecting to be where he is? Mm-hmm. Cause that boy's in the tip for them to get where he is now. They what yeah. they sell. Yeah. So I used to be myself always and all the time. Yeah. I mean, I never was really like this good, but I just like find myself and mm-hmm. see what they saying like just come to me. And you found your sound like you Find my flow, my own sound, and your father so, inspired you. Right, so I feel it's just a unique, flow, a unique. Well, that's good because I'm saying it, it, it ain't easy. No, it's definitely not easy. So, like, what keeps you motivated daily to just pursue a a dream so big, like beyond the Bahamas? Motivation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be real. I, I have a lot of supporters and but sometimes I just feel like some of the supporters be fake like mm-hmm. I mean like on a regular but my motivation I used to, my my like my two closest they my mud brothers but they is like my twins I used to call them two my twins like yeah, yeah so they they just keep me motivated there like every mm-hmm. time they feel like stepping off around they just be like listen God you could do this this yeah. there's something like you right there like you like mm-hmm. just far from it so yeah I just just be like, I wonder if this letter's like, real. And shout out to Elmo too, because he really showed me like I could really take yeah. it up a notch and way further than just Nassau Obama's. Mm-hmm. So you can push beyond that. Right. It ain't too long now though. Oh, I agree. I agree. Definitely seeing the numbers that you're making right now is like you can see. Right. Want to keep pushing it, want to keep striving, you know, you're definitely going to get it. But I want to ask you about this scene that we're talking about motivation right now. So, of course, you know, well, mm. I'm sure if you've seen it, but front page of the Tribune, I'm 18 and on murder charge. Mm. So I'm just saying, like, looking at this, seeing that just like he's so young, he's 18 years old. It's like, how you how, like, how would you think like someone would basically end up in a predicament like this and how to basically just stop yourself from even, you know, getting to this point? Seeing that you're from the groove and you know you're surrounded by certain things. To be real, the best way to to eliminate all this, like all that violence and all that other stuff, and the best way I feel is just to you need like all right, your hometown, like say how I from the groove. Mm-hmm. I like had that just to separate myself a bit so I could like be away from all that stuff and I could keep my head straight and yeah. focus. So. Mm-hmm. The advice I'd give the people is just you just need to separate from certain people, like how old people to say like yeah. certain company would cost you. Exactly. So once you separate from people and certain mm-hmm. people, you're gonna never find yourself inside of a predicament to like exactly. get inside that shoe to say, all right, mm-hmm. you have to do these things, you have to do this to do that, you have to do that to do that. Yeah. See, yeah. So it's avoiding certain crowds. <laughs> right. Basically is right. it. Right. That's it. All right. So how would you um encourage like other young artists coming up? Me? Like coming up in the music business, seeing that you know the Bahamas, it's 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 just we're so small. Right. So other artists coming up from the Bahamas, 
and they're young and they really want to get out there. They want you, they really want to be heard. They want to get the million streams like you. Hmm. Like, how would you encourage them? Be yourself. That's the best way. You ain't no other way mm-hmm. to do it, but to be yourself. Mm-hmm. Cause if you're trying to be somebody else and that, that ain't gonna happen, you gotta be you and you gotta do what you feel is right for you. Not for nobody or worry about what nobody else say. Yeah. So you gotta be you and be yourself. Always at all times. Perfect. I love that message. It's definitely something that needs to be told. <laughs> so I want to ask you too um, about your singles, Gun Brawl. Mm. I always <laughs> playing it. But um, as well as Highway. Right. Like, what do you feel? At least, which one was your favorite song? Let me ask you. What is one of your favorite songs? Even if, even if it hasn't been um, released yet. Yeah, released. My favorite song. That's I. Uh, we like it just was recently recorded mm-hmm. uh, with me and. Uh, then you know it's like in the end pop it it's that's like yeah. a, something like a new dance or uh-huh. like, i really it coming it coming up like, yeah when people hear us they could be like yeah like they can even, feel that one right that's, yeah so that's like my favorite but mm-hmm. not from under unreleased but like from my favorite release right now uh i'd say well, all my songs is my favorite yeah because <laughs> like you say it's you mm-hmm. everything just, is real right yeah and everything like i listen to like and what stuff like i could be like yeah i come from this and mm-hmm. right so what would you say inspired um gun brawl gun brawl uh mm-hmm. hmm. Hmm. like what were you thinking what was your creative process when writing it like where were you when you were writing it normally where are you when you're writing your music are you in the room are you outside you chilling with your friends like are you like music with me Mm-hmm. Like that's how I that's why like like I say I really feel like it for me because like all right I wouldn't just like say get up and go write a song like yeah. if I like if I all right I'd say listening to one or two beats if I listening to a beat or so like the beat is talk to me mm-hmm. so like I wouldn't be like all right this beat yeah all right it'd be other beats out there with heart and mm-hmm. stuff too right but I wouldn't be like only because it's hard I had to go on it mm-hmm. the ones to be talking to me. Yeah. I'll be like, all right, this something I was made to put something on. So, yeah. yeah. And then with the writing process, I just would be like, all right, I'd be home putting my headphones in. Mm-hmm. And just once I really find a beat, like I say, the beat from front yeah. and talk to me, mm-hmm. I just would just write off that. And I just, I like, I like be like quiet areas and by myself to really like. Yeah. You don't try to be around the crowd like that. No. You got to be you. Right. Yes, on. So okay. I can really think. Yeah, <laughs> good. So I want to ask too, though. So you know, a lot of artists when they're you know coming up, they always say, "I want to make it. I want to do this. I want to make it. I want to make it big." Mm. So what does making it mean to you? To make it, I mean, like every other rapper, like I just want to make my family better, and like mm-hmm. you know, I mean, not not all family really be family, cause yeah, blood and water leak. See, yeah, so. I mean, I like but I just want to, I just want to take yeah. most of my people from out the hood and out the ghetto to avoid situations like how mm-hmm. you just assuming like he is 18, I yeah. 18. Yeah. So like, I just want a different path. Right. And I have people who younger than me who looking up to me now. So yeah. I, have, I have to like make something up and I get a, I can't do. So mm-hmm. I feel I is the key. Like God give me this gift to be like, all right, God, you got to make something happen if you don't make something happen like this is your gift for you yeah. to take everybody else out of poverty and out of yeah. the struggle and to do better and make the bombers yeah yeah get the bombers a whole new look a whole new face bang so it's like you putting on a cape now right okay you ready for that cake <laughs> you ready to fly That's what I'm it's a lot sometimes when it's on your back but mm-hmm. once you are i'm strong enough to carry it yeah i'm pretty sure you can yeah, I know I don't want to really compete with Superman. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, so is it just you pushing um, to make this dream come reality? Or is like, do you have a, a full team behind you with you? I got, I got the Y10 team behind me. We mm-hmm. get the, we get the bread drinks. We get uh-huh. the, we get the bread drinks behind us. Yeah. But, you know, Y10, Young Drive Nation, shout yeah. out, shout out them. You know what's going on. They full behind me. They make sure I keep mm-hmm. my head straight and show yeah. me like, I can do this. So exactly. Yeah, they they behind me and there's my motivation and my strength. Yeah. So yeah, I got them. So how do you manage to, you know, get your music heard, not just locally, but now internationally? 
Because, you know, that, that's where I think a lot of artists, yeah. avant artists find it very difficult right. to get their music out. So with you already having that platform, you know, how do you do it? Me? I mean, like, I, I, like certain people, like, one or two people I might know from foreign or something, they, like, would be posting it. So, I, like, mm-hmm. probably they, like, the people who they know mm-hmm. probably might all right, say, yeah. all right, yeah, he odd. So mm-hmm. people, a lot of people just be connecting and connecting yeah, and connecting. Yeah, so, so it'd be like that. like that. Right. All right. So let me ask you about, um, I want to ask about a line in Highway. So now you say you want a side, you don't want a side chick. You need someone to side with. Mm. What did that line mean? That line mean like, all right, everybody, everybody is be like, everyone talk about side chicks and uh-huh. people love side chicks and stuff. Yeah. I need someone like the people on my side. Actually, yeah. like a lot of people could say, all right. Mm-hmm. This your girlfriend, this your wife, or mm-hmm. but they don't really love you. They don't really have your back, or yeah. So I need someone to really side with, like uh-huh. the people on my side, and to be ready to take, like to take in the stuff what I taking in. But mm-hmm. you right there with me, and you knowing what I going through, but you still yeah. got my back through whatever. Yeah. That's so you don't worry about the side checks. No. Just a main girl. Right. One girl is all you need. Right. Right now, as you focus, one woman. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Are you open to like collaborating with other artists in terms of um, internationally or locally? Like, are you open for it right yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Who all have you collaborated with already? You mean in the Bahamas? Or? Yeah, uh, both. All right. Here and abroad. Internationally, mm-hmm. I I not no features yet, but mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to work with uh, Lil Papa. I know if you heard him yet or anything, but I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to yeah, yes. connecting. Okay. Right. So other than that, mm-hmm. locally, uh, just like the travel, the, right, like the travel nation, my my group, mm-hmm. I just yeah. feature them that really try to get them on a level and things. But yeah. I I don't really like do features and stuff like that though. Mm-hmm. I got I feature with uh, Savage Kid. Uh, that's probably it. Really. Just a few. Yeah, it ain't too much. Mm-hmm. But you're still opening for it. Right. Still open for it. Right. Is it a thousand dollars yet? Because I know on you know Gun Brawl you said <laughs> it's just about to be a thousand dollars. So <laughs> soon, soon, like it. But that's close. Yeah. So if you're, if you're trying to get yeah. a feature, then you better hit my line now before I get the right. Before the prices go up. Right. I love that man. All right. Well, I mean, it's it's really good just having you here, seeing that you know you are young talent, young local talent, and you're really just pushing. Was there like any message? You know, I mean, you would just give to. Any just young person or just anyone else with the dream, you know? Mm. Dreams don't come true by itself. You got to chase that. If you don't chase that dream, boy, I tell you, you it, it's just you just dreaming. You got to wake up and get it. If you don't get up and get it, then who get it for you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just do what you got to do. Last question. Last question. Right. Who's your dream artist to collaborate with? Good. <laughs> YB, uh, YB, I ain't gonna lie. He, he inspired yeah. me a lot. Yeah. Even when I was like younger, I used to listen to him a lot, mm-hmm. and I used to be like, yeah, all right. I, like, I mean, I have, like before he really came out, I used uh-huh. to, I used to rob him. Like, I used to mm-hmm. do my own little thing. But then yeah. he really gave me a little inspiration because yeah. how he come out young and he was, he was hot and young. Mm-hmm. So I was like, really young. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So he is like my inspiration. I like, I, I, I look up him a bit, but you know mm-hmm. I do. I really just as try to give myself self motivation and things too. So yeah, right. Well, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, but it's just good to see that you know you're strong and you're taking everything in. And especially, I'm just saying that a million views. It's it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's very you know it's phenomenal to me, and it was shocking to me to see that you know because I'm like you will look at so many talent in the Bahamas, but sometimes you don't see all of it. Mm. You just see some of it. Right. So it's the fact that, you know, when I was showing you, I'm like, oh, wow, okay. You know, you're, you're really on your way. Hmm. So I just wanted to ask, on what all platforms can your music be found on? You can tell people. Spotify, Tidal, Audio Mark, YouTube, all the streaming platforms. All mm-hmm. like, all like, we just, how we post it is, mm-hmm. it all, you're right. All right, that's Gutta Boy. Double O Seven. How right, can you spell it? G-U-T-T-A-B-O-Y-007. And they can also find you on Instagram. And anywhere, just Everywhere. like that. Got right. a boy 007. All right, thank you, Got a boy 007, for coming in. Join us on the first Jams TV interview. I'm pretty sure we'll see more of you, and I'm pretty sure we'll get more of your music playing here on 100 Jams.